afternoon and welcome once again to the mayor's weekly press conference. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. It's warm, but it's gorgeous out there. I was just at what's called an Open Ohio event up at the Armory Park, sitting outside, hence me being in a short sleeve shirt today without a tie. Uh, but it was, uh, it was, it was pleasant. It was a little bit warm, but it was pleasant out there. It's high today is going to be 83 with a low of 65, partly cloudy. Tomorrow we're looking at PM thunderstorms with a high of 83, a low of 64. Friday, it's looking like partly cloudy, a high of 84, and a low of 63. And then into Saturday, partly cloudy, high of 84, a low of 62. Mostly sunny on Sunday with a high of 85 and a low of 63. And then rolling into Monday, mostly sunny. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Both days, the high is going to be 86, and the low is going to be 64 and 65 uh, for, like I said, Monday and Tuesday. So the uh, forecast is looking really pleasant. I'm looking ahead for what it's worth. I'm looking ahead all the way through Wednesday, August 14th, and uh, in that time span between now and then, it doesn't break much above 86 as being the high. So keep your fingers crossed. I mean, that's nice. It's not uh, incredibly hot like we had uh, a couple weeks ago, but it's, it's nice. Engineering and Public Works, several things going on around the city. The West Union um, Street will be closed between High and Congress on Friday, August 2nd. That's hard to believe that today is the last day of July, but it is what it is. Uh, that will be from uh, August 2nd. It will be 8, 8.30 to 1 p.m. And this is going to be for crane access to get something to the roof of Bromley Hall. Hydrant flushing, that's going to continue on uh, out on East State Street. Uh, it will be, uh, they'll be working their way along East State Street to do that. Um, it's East State Street between Route 33 East and the city limits. We've talked about this before, um, just as a cautionary tale, if there are hydrant flushing in your area um, or near whatever street you live on, whether it's Avon or Eden or Townsend or Utah, Strathmore, whatever, um, you might want to hold off on washing white clothes because when the hydrant flushing does take place, it does have a tendency to stir up some sediment and I've mentioned this before, and I'll mention it again, and that is that this water is still safe. We have some of the best water, I believe, in the state of Ohio. If you, were to, if you don't believe me, come down to the city building and pick up your, comp, your consumer confidence report, uh, the CCR. We have lots of them down at the, uh, on the first floor. Grab a copy, and you can see for yourself. ODOT is launching the first ever pedestrian and bicycle policy plan called Walk, Bock, Walk, 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 Walk Bike Ohio. Um, this bicycle plan um, is to address the growing interest in active transportation among all Ohioans. So uh, the survey will be open until August 31st. You can find the survey at the city's website www.ci.athens.oh.us. Um, take the survey. Uh, you know, why not? Um, and you can, you know, see how important walkability, bikeability is to you. Um, and I'm sure that this policy plan would love to have your input. So check it out. Uh, Athens Community Relations Committee uh, Commission has a survey out there as well. The commission is seeking input from the Athens community to guide the commission's focus and programming in the foreseeable future. If you take the time to fill us out, uh, it will help strengthen our community. The, the survey is, and this is all in caps, so they're shouting at you, short, uh, a short survey for that. Again, you can uh, pull that down. Uh, on the city's website, www.athens.ci, or I'm sorry, www.ci.athens.oh.us. I should know that by heart, right? They, uh, that survey will be available until 2 p.m. September 4th, which is a Wednesday. So take the survey, help them out. 
The uh, Athena Award, I've mentioned this before, this is the award that the city gives out to individuals who uh, go way above and beyond when it comes to services or advocacy for people living with disabilities. Um, we encourage people, again, to nominate somebody or you can self-nominate, which is fine as well. Nominate someone or an organization deserving of this honor. And once again, that can be downloaded at www.ci.athens.oh.us. Or you can mail it to the city building, uh, pick up the, uh, the uh, application or the nomination form, and you can you know, print it off, fill it out, bring it down to the city building and drop it off for us. So uh, that uh, we're looking for more nominations for that. Athens Public Transit. Um, this is great. Uh, Athens Public Transit, there was a ribbon cutting ceremony this morning in Albany, and then there was a follow on ribbon cutting ceremony in Nelsonville. Why, you might ask? Uh, it was a rather cool ribbon cutting for the new Bus Route 7. Bus Route 7 is an Athens Public Transit bus route that goes between Albany and Athens and Nelsonville. So it's connecting the two cities and the village together. This is hourly service, so uh, the bus will uh, hit the stops along the way every hour. And uh, so this ribbon cutting was to launch that. That bus service, even though the ribbon cutting was today, the service begins tomorrow. And as I understand it, for tomorrow, the uh, August 1st will be a free service day for the Athens Public Transit routes. So this is for all the routes. So this is uh, also in celebration and getting people on this bus. This, I think, um, just to talk about this for a second, this particular bus route, if you think about it, is going to increase opportunities, it's gonna increase accessibility, and it's also gonna strengthen relationships um, between Al um, Albany, Athens, and Nelsonville. You know, for an individual who <clears throat> may not have transportation, uh, it certainly frees them up, gives them opportunity to be able to hop on this bus for a dollar, a dollar each way. And you can ride that, that bus from Albany or from Athens or from Nelsonville and to the other places, each way being a dollar. And you can, it enhances your shopability. It enhances medical access, healthcare access. It, uh, it enhances one's ability to access the county services, whether it's uh, the, the uh, BMV or the title office or maybe something over at the courthouse or here in the city of Athens for that matter, um, but also um, allows for um, people being able to, uh, in a timely way, get to their jobs. There's a lot of job creation that's occurred in the, in the village of Albany. There's certainly job creation that's occurred in the city of Nelsonville and here in Athens. But one of the barriers that has, is out there for people is being able to get effective transportation to get to and from your job. And as I said, healthcare or to services. So this is gonna be great. And the relationship building is, is kind of a no brainer if you think about it. That relationship building is just opening up a new Way, mode of transportation to go and explore some other people or some other places and people too um, and getting out there and uh, uh, getting like I said having the ability to go and visit the town square in Nelsonville or to come up onto Court Street uh, or out East State Street or to the city's parks here in Athens or to go to Albany and kind of explore the village of Albany and all the things that are happening out there where there is a lot of economic growth in the village of Albany. And you can also access Lake Snowden, you know, um, which is great. The other thing, and I'll get off of this, but it, it, it's worth pointing out, I was just uptown earlier today getting a cup of coffee, and I was mentioning this new bus route ribbon cutting ceremony, and there was an individual who looked at me and said, uh, who worked at this establishment, looked at me and said, you know, had there been this level of service, I would have been able to complete, complete my degree at Hawking College because I could have taken this bus from Athens out to Hawking and continued on with my classes because at the time it was too expensive 
for gas, you know, being able to drive back and forth out there uh, to where that was a barrier that got in between that person and finishing up their degree. And now this is a game changer for creating something to where if that is an issue, and for a lot of people it is, um, that, that this changes all that to where now for a dollar you can hop on that bus, go to wherever you want to go between Albany and Nelsonville uh, and uh, be able to experience things, get your education. Uh, there's the, the map, double map. Use the double map. Thank you. Scott Thompson was just pointing out to me, and so it's worth telling you who are watching. The city's app um, double map will show you right where that bus is, and that's a great feature as well because who wants to sit at a bus stop somewhere for 45 minutes because you didn't know when that bus was coming and it had just come 15 minutes prior. So that double map is a, an app that'll be, uh, I think, invaluable to you for anyone who's using bus route seven in the future. I plan to ride it at some point soon, um, likely not tomorrow, but hopefully next week I'll be able to jump on and just take a ride. Uh, and like I said, maybe go to lunch at uh, one of the eating establishments in Nelsonville and then ride back again. Some other things worth mentioning, hiring, Arts West um, Community Work Study. Looking for a work study, um, the requirements are that you, I believe, uh, must be an Ohio University student. Um, they're looking for someone for 10 to 20 hours a week. And I believe the salary on here um, is uh, $10 an hour, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what Ryan had mentioned to me. Um, but anyway, they're looking to hire someone 10 to 20 hours as a work study. Again, have to be an Ohio University student to take on that work study role, if you're interested. Double art opening, uh, Barry O'Keefe. Barry O'Keefe is the individual who did the Nelsonville block uh, murals on one of the walls in the on the town square. Also did the, the books, uh, the book mural at the Nelsonville Public Library on the wall adjacent to the library in Nelsonville, which, as I said, I was just there today admiring it. It's a beautiful piece of art. But anyway, um, Old Haunts, Barry O'Keefe's art opening, which will be Friday, August 2nd from 5 to 7 p.m. And then Crumbles. This is Luke Boyd art opening. Also at uh, on a Friday, August 2nd from 5 to 7 p.m. This will be, um, I don't know which one is in the lower venue and which one is in the upper venue, but what the heck, if you're going to be there for one, you might as well go to the other. So it's just an easy flight of steps down or up to go and check it out. So go and keep that in mind. Thursday, August 1st, tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. There is the first Thursday Old Time String Jam taking place at Arts West. Arts West and the Southeast Ohio Musical Lending Library. It's continuing to host the String, Old Time String Jam. Um, this is BYOB with a valid over 21 or 21 plus driver's license. So it sounds like that would be a fun time. Keys to Effective Interpersonal Communications and Introduction. That's Saturday, August 3rd from 9.30 to 12.30 p.m. 9.30 in the morning to 12.30 noon, just afternoon. Cost is $30 and includes the workbook. Um, so come on out and learn how to effectively communicate in an interpersonal way. So... Uh, something else to consider out there. Um, a couple last things that I've got is safety day. Safety day is August 7th, so it's next week. There will be um, limited work, uh, limited staff, I should say, going on in the city because most of us will be at the community center attending safety day. Uh, so just keep that in mind that there will likely either be some closures with the city building or limited staffing. So um, just make note that on August 7th, most of us will be up at the community center learning how to be safer 
employees. Bounty on the Bricks. Bounty on the Bricks is this Saturday evening. Um, I believe it's 7 to 10 p.m. And with that, as is typical, we will have a street closing for, of Court Street at 8 a.m., starting at 8 a.m., and that closure will probably stay in effect well past the end of this event, you know, 11, 30, 12 o'clock, midnight, likely that Court Street will still be shut down or will be shut down for both setup and break back down again with Bounty on the Bricks. The week after that is Boogie on the Bricks, which is going to be August 10th. Again, so that will require a street closure. And then finally in August, in terms of street closures anyway, August 17th is the Athens um, Arts and Music Festival, which will be on West Union in between court and Congress, as we had last year. So that'll be the second annual. And that is largely being put on by the um, by AMAC, the Athens Municipal Arts Commission, but also others um, who are helping out with that project. Scott Winland plays a big role in that in terms of coordinating, as do many others. So keep that in mind as well. Um, we received a letter from Ask Me Local 3351, and I'd like to share this with anyone who's watching. Um, it's to uh, Service Safety Director Andy Stone. And it's basically on behalf of Ask Me Local 3351 and the Athens City Firefighters who are sending this letter of appreciation for your support of their formal Class A uniform project. Um, it is with, uh, we take great pride in being a first class professional fire department that serves the citizens of the city of Athens. And now they feel that they look the part in their formal setting as well. These, these class A uniforms are really sharp uniforms that they wear for official events or for funerals. Um, I saw a picture of them wearing their uniforms and they, they do uh, look very dignified and um, uh, it, it looks great, it looks great. So this, again, there's more to this letter, but uh, you get the gist of it. So this is, was a wonderful letter to receive. Another letter that I received, which was also a very, um, very nice letter to have received, came from Bill Johnson. Bill Johnson is the sixth district um, Congressman for the state of Ohio, and it's Dear Mayor Patterson, I am honored to congratulate the city of Athens on earning the Tree City USA designation for 2018, 2018, in recognition, uh, this recognition is well deserved. Your commitment to taking Athens, making Athens a better place to live for future and current residences has not gone, un gone unnoticed. I know the people in your community appreciate your efforts. Again, congratulations on your art, on earning the Arbor Day Foundation's designations. If I can assist in any way, please reach, reach out to me. Uh, just a brief note: um, this, this is a great letter to have received, but it's and it's from Bill Johnson. Bill Johnson is the representative from the sixth district, um, which pretty much takes uh, it, the district runs all along the Ohio River, a pretty large swath of the eastern border of the state. Um, so um, being recognized beyond our own district, we're in the 15th district. So this is, uh, it's nice to have received that. Um, that's all I have for today. Um, like I said, uh, hopefully you can get out and enjoy the weather outside today and tomorrow and this weekend. Um, it's, like I said, on and off is gonna be very, very pleasant. So uh, enjoy it out there, be safe. And please tune in again next week for the next installment of Mayor's Weekly Press Conference. Take care.